Hi everyone, Piano Man Chuck here. Back today with the Kawaii ES8 once again, and I want to talk about a certain particular feature that this has called overdub recording. Now, a lot of these keyboards out there have sequencers or something else, but this offers overdub recording, and not a lot of keyboards do that. So if you're not familiar with overdub recording, another word to describe that would be add to recording. Because that's basically what you're doing. You're taking an existing file and you're adding something to it that isn't already there. So basically to give you an example or an analogy, you have a song that you've heard on the radio, you really like it, so you purchase a copy, you put it on an MP3 um, USB drive over here, you put that in here, and while you play that back, which this can act as an MP3 player, while you play that back, you're going to add a piano part to it, or maybe you're going to add an organ part to it, or an electric piano, or something else. But basically, you're adding to it, you are recording over what already is on there. So that's what overdub recording is. It's add to recording. So there's other things you can do with this besides adding to something that already exists. Now, a lot of keyboards out there offer, not a lot, but some keyboards offer sequencers which are usually limited to 16 tracks. Basically, you can record an instrument on track one, another on track two, a third on track three, and so on and so forth, till you get to 16 tracks. With overdub recording, you can record your first track, add something on the second, another on the third, but you can keep going forever. You can do 50 tracks, 100 tracks, it doesn't matter. Basically, unlike a sequencer, overdub recording is add to recording. So let's demonstrate by example. We're going to take a USB thumb drive. We're going to insert this into the thumb drive slot of the Kawaii ES8. We're going to go over to USB section. And right now, it's already checked. It's verified we've got a USB thumb drive in there. Let's hit record. And now we've got a choice of an internal recorder, which we always get whether, whether we have a USB thumb drive in there or not, or a USB recorder. Well, for this to do overdub recording, it does require a USB thumb drive in there. So now we have our USB thumb drive in there. We're going to pick USB recorder. It wants to know what kind of format we've got, MP3 or WAV. Now WAV is the higher quality format. Unfortunately, for every minute that you record, that's 10 megabytes of file size there. So it eats up a lot of data. For MP3, it's a more workable format because it's it's a lot shorter so this is something you can take and email to your friends put up on social media it doesn't require a lot of space but it's not as good a quality as wave so if you're doing something professional choose the wave format if you're doing something that you want to share with your friends or throw up on social media use mp3 so right now we're going to use mp3 for this and you'll notice that my record key right here is flashing. That means it is waiting for us to start playing something. Well, we can start recording right away by pressing the play button. And from the moment we play that, everything, including the silence, up until our first note is recorded. But while this is flashing, it is waiting for us to record something. So. It won't start recording until I hit my first note. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, 
Okay, so let's stop that. And it's asking us, do we want to save this to the USB thumb drive? Yes, we do. So we're going to hit the record key. Now, here is where we get to rename the file. Right now, we're just going to accept the default name of audio-000. Otherwise, we can change the name to whatever we like. So let's just keep that name and save it as that name. Completed. OK, so now let's add a second piano to what we've already done. We're going to hit the record key. All right, and it's asking us if we want to do overdubbing or if we want to do a new song. Nope, we want to add to what we've already did, so that is overdubbing. So let's hit the record key. Format is MP3. All right, let's go. <laughs> Okay, so now we have two pianos, and we're going to save that to the USB thumb drive by pressing record. File name, we're going to keep the same file name. And because it already exists, it's asking us do we want to overwrite that? Yes, we do. All right, so please wait while it's doing that. This should be done in just a second or so. Good. Done. Let's go ahead and add an organ to the next one. Here's a draw bar organ. Very cool. So let's hit record. Overdubbing, which is cool. Very cool. So now we've got two piano parts and we've got a drawbar organ added to this. So we're going to save that to the USB for sure. We're going to hit record. All right. Keep the same file name again. And because it exists, it's going to ask us once again, do we want to overwrite what already exists? Yes. Now in the case that we just did what we did and we made a mistake, we don't want to overwrite it. We want to redo that and get it perfect. And once it's perfect, we can go ahead and add our latest thing to that file and save it. Okay? Now, let's add one more thing. Let's go with, say, a harpsichord. Okay? Very, very, very cool. All right, so let's save that. Keep the same file name. All right, so now we have four things. We have got two different piano parts. We've got an organ part. We've got a harpsichord. We've got four different things right here into one file. We can go ahead and add a fifth and a sixth and a seventh instrument and so on and so forth. But let's just play back what we've got so far, those four instruments, okay? All right, 
very cool. So you get the hang of this. We can add instrument after instrument and build and build and build. We've got basically a full orchestra that we can build into using just overdub mode, one instrument at a time. And unlike a sequencer, which I said before is limited to usually 16 tracks, we've got an unlimited amount of tracks here. And again, unlike a sequencer, somebody can hand us a song saying, hey, my band recorded this. Can you add some piano to it? Well, we can do that with the overdub mode. This is one cool feature that I really love about the Kawai ES8. And it's not available in most other keyboards that you can buy today. Some of them have it. Most of them don't. I love this feature, and that's why I wanted to make this video so that I can show you exactly what that can do for you. Piano Man Chuck, peace out. Thanks for watching.